famous for his high-profile case and dramatic release. This morning, the attorneys for Adnan Syed are fighting a plea to put him back behind bars. At Maryland's appellate court, the family of Heyman Lee, killed in 1999, argued they were never properly notified about a hearing last September that suddenly led to Syed's release after years of questions over his murder conviction. Every time we go to court, we just always go unnoticed. Syed now breaking his silence as he faces the possibility of returning to prison. Our family, we've suffered so much, you know, just over the past 20, almost 24 years. And it's just, it's really hard for us. It's hard for my dad. It's hard for my mom. It's hard for my younger brother. After spending more than 23 years behind bars... Syed's October release was ordered after a court found prosecutors in his 1999 trial failed to turn over evidence that could have helped his case. Vacating his murder, kidnapping and robbery charges, prosecutors also cited DNA evidence that helped clear his name. I know there are things that don't look good for me. While Syed became the focus of a documentary and a popular podcast that questioned his conviction, Lee's family says they were never shown evidence of his innocence and they were given insufficient time to appear at a hearing that set him free. They feel that the process was not fair to them, fundamentally unfair. And what they're asking for is what the law requires, which is a fair process. We definitely understand that Hayes' family has suffered so much and they continue to suffer. And I just, it's just that we suffer too. This morning, the ongoing fight for freedom after 23 years behind bars. For today, Miguel Almaguer, NBC News, Los Angeles. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.